Milwaukee has a new drill they won't show us. Harper Freight goes tri-fuel. Klein pulls up their drawers and Ryobi's table is two things. Greco wants to turn your drill into a sprayer and we've got multi-tools, RC mowers, veto bags and a tool store you won't believe. Plus another platinum tool deal from Ohio Power Tool. This is the Tool Show. Welcome back, Tool fans. I'm Sarah, that's my Rob, and we're starting this week's Tool News at Harbor Freight. This is the all-new Predator 13,000 watt tri-fuel portable generator. You heard that right. It will run on gas, propane, or even natural gas. With 13,000 watts starting and 10,000 watt running, it's ready to keep far more than just your lights on and your table saw running. It's powered by a 458cc engine that aims to keep your home, job site, or event powered up as long as you keep it fed. It has a push button electric start and key fob that lets you control it up to 100 feet away. Voltage, frequency, and runtime are monitored on its digital display, and the automatic idle down reduces noise and extends runtime when no load is detected. It also features CO Secure Tech that automatically shuts down the generator when harmful levels of carbon monoxide are detected. It has 240 volt, 120 volt, 50 amp, and 30 amp outlets. It's available now at your local Harbor Freight for around $1,200. I am not used to those kind of numbers. Mind you, this doesn't have pure sine wave inverter, so it's not for your sensitive electronics, but yeah, it would keep our house running with it. Yeah, for 1200 bucks. Yeah. Milwaukee wants you to know that they just launched a new drill, but this time they won't show it to you. So I had to Photoshop something myself. Now you can have something to look at while I give you the specs. Even though the real one looks nothing like that. Says who? Any amount of common sense. All right, fine. That is not the all new Milwaukee 1 and 9 16 cents SDS Max Rotary Hammer. The real deal has a powerful 14 amp motor that delivers 5.9 foot pounds of impact energy for all day concrete drilling and chipping. It does have AVS for reduced vibration, but no, it doesn't have that stupid handle I photoshopped onto mine. Or a double chuck. At least I don't think. The real one offers a 12 position chisel rotation and a mechanical clutch that provides protection in a bind up. The real drill will arrive in April for $449. Did you put that stupid thing on our thumbnail? Robert. Moving on to Klein, who announced on their Instagram account that their highly anticipated mod box drawers are finally hitting shelves. That includes the mod box single drawer toolbox, the two drawer toolbox, and yes, the three drawer toolbox as well. They all feature locking bars to secure the drawers and transit and reinforce bottom channels to prevent drawer sag, something we all want to avoid, am I right? I hate saggy drawers. They also have heavy duty ball bearing slides and steel reinforced red locking latch that supports a padlock with a 5 16 inch diameter shackle. No word yet on pricing, and even though we can't find any in store yet, Klein assures us that they're here, so they can't be that far off. Who's ready for tool show and tell? Yeah! Graco, the self-proclaimed leader in fluid management products, has a shocking number of product categories, but you likely know them for their sprayers. They make both professional and DIY airless sprayers that you've probably seen at your local big box store. This week, they announced a shocking new addition to their DIY sprayer lineup. This is the all new True Coat 360 Cordless Connect True Airless Paint Sprayer. In the past, I've used their battery powered version that uses a DeWalt battery, which you can pick up at Lowe's or Home Depot for around 700 bucks. But as you can probably tell, this one is different. The Cordless Connect attaches to just about any 18 volt plus impact or drill driver, giving you the freedom of cordless spraying. Now you can grab your Flex, Milwaukee, Cobalt, and yes, even your DeWalt, and turn it into an airless sprayer for only 189 bucks. Use the batteries you already have and instantly start spraying paint anywhere you want, indoors or out. Now this is aimed at light duty projects up to two gallons in size, and because it uses their patented Flex Liner, you can use this thing in any orientation, even upside down. It comes with a funnel strainer system and allows you to spray unthinned water-based paints with less overspray so you can get true one-pass coverage and get your project done faster. We hooked this one up to several different drills and impacts, and it was surprisingly easy to connect and disconnect each one. The drills are recommended for when you want to move at a slower speed and have more control. Great for detailed work, small spaces, or when you just need to take your time to ensure a really smooth and even coat of paint. Now you'll use an impact driver for speed and efficiency. It works best for painting larger projects and spaces that allow you to move at a faster pace. When choosing your drill, you just have to make sure that it's at least 18 volts and can hit a minimum of 1400 RPM. 
Now, we've just started using ours, and it's crazy how much time you can save when you spray. And now, I can use the tool that I already feel comfortable with and get a cordless paint sprayer at a great price point. The new Greco True Coat 360 Cordless Connect is available now at your local Lowe's or Home Depot. RYOBI recently launched their all-new Speedbench mobile workstation, and this week, I got a chance to try it out for myself. The Speedbench is actually a two-wheeled cart or dolly with 300-pound capacity that easily converts into a sturdy workbench with a large 42-inch by 22-inch wood top and an even stronger 400-pound capacity. The top is floating, so it offers four-sided edge clamping, and etched right into the top are both SAE and metric measurements and protractor angles. You can even mount your miter saw right onto the work surface, turning this into a mobile miter station. It also comes with this cool Ryobi link rail that can attach to any side of the table, and in instantly give you a mounting point for your Ryobi Link accessories. Great way to keep your hardware in reach when you're working outside. The table is super easy to convert. You just step on this pedal and fold it up. It has 10 inch wheels that made it pretty easy for me to get it up and down stairs. The skid plate at the bottom can easily be removed, so this thing will fit under your tonneau cover in the back of your truck. I love this table. It's easy for me to move around and feel stable when it's set up. We've already put this thing to work in our testing shop, and if you want to get one of your own, they'll be available in May for $1.99. Now there were several tool videos that we don't want you to miss this week, starting with the Vito Pro Pack over at Tinker with Tools. Taylor covers all of the features of the popular bag and manages to fill it up with his most critical tools without sacrificing weight. Forget robotic mowers, we want remote control, said no one ever, but the boys at Machiner Nation found one anyways. It's from a company called Mo Raider, and before you pass this up, this RC mower turned out to have more than a few unique features that just might change your mind. Mark has the new Ryobi Air Grip Laser Level, and I have to say I'm impressed. He took a little leveling buddy and managed to make a seven and a half minute video about it. And I watched the whole thing. It helps that the level is pretty cool. The American Electrician has a pair of new products from Channel Lock you won't want to miss, especially if you're a Sparky. Now, if you aren't a Sparky and just want to watch him cut and strip some wires while avoiding pinching his fingers, go check it out. Tim Johnson went shopping at Harbor Freight this week and spent around $150 to buy five must-have tools for your shop. He set out to prove that you can add several quality of life enhancements for your shop without breaking the bank, and I think he does it. Over on Ultimate Tool Reviews, we get an in-depth look at the new Metabo HPT Oscillating Multi-Tool and see how it compares directly to the Makita XMT-03Z. And finally, Doc found a unique 100-year-old tool store in Denver and brought us along for an adventure. It's a second-hand tool store with a seemingly endless selection of tools. I would get lost in there. I would never leave. <laughs> Time again for another Platinum Tool Deal from Ohio Power Tool. This week you can save $50 off a $100 purchase of anything in stock in their overstock and clearance items. We took a look recently and found Milwaukee and Bosch grinders, a DeWalt compact bandsaw, an Ego 21 inch mower and chainsaw, tons of drills, saws, and a stump ton of blades and accessories. With this code you could actually pick up the $180 Milwaukee M18 blower for only $99. But remember, the code will only work for the first 25 people, so you have to move fast. The code you need is TS80472. Good luck. I want to thank Flex, Ego, Tested HQ, and Ohio Power Tool for continuing to support our show and our community of tool fans. If you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and Sarah and I will see you next week.